home of the live storm tracker Doppler. This is Fox 14 News at 9. Thank you for choosing Fox 14. I'm Kyla Scott. I'm Stephen Pappas. First on Fox, hot temperatures expected to last for the foreseeable future. It's important to exercise heat safety. Yeah, that's right. Fox 14's Brianna Medina asked people along with the local doctor about beating the heat. <sighs> Don't mind me, I'm just putting on some sunscreen because it's hot and humid here in Northeast Louisiana. Now I'm taking it to the streets of Monroe to ask people, how are they beating this heat? It's ridiculous, we hate it, especially right now with the baby. <laughs> just staying hydrated, uh, taking breaks when you feel dizzy. Uh, heat strokes are easy to happen, so and once you've had one, they're easier to have. While walking through Antique Alley, we had to stop because it is so hot and we took a break in one of the stores and now I have Ariel, the owner of Just Peachy. So Ariel, tell me, how have you been dealing with this heat? It is very hot, um, so not very well. And how has this affected like your business? Have you seen a change since it's been very hot? Oh yes, um, dramatic change, um, especially on Saturdays where we would normally have tons of shoppers come in on the alley um, just to come in and shop. Our um, employees hours have been cut on Saturdays just because it is slower since it's so hot. And while being exposed to this kind of heat, it can cause different heat injuries. The important thing to do with heat exhaustion is make sure you get that person out of the heat, give them cool fluids, co drop their body temperature. Um, as quickly as you can, safely. Um, you want to make sure that you, you know, kind of wet their clothes down a little bit or get them under a fan or something like that. But with heat stroke, if they're starting to get confused or slurring their words or starting to look drowsy or they're just not acting right, that's not something you should take care of. Um, that's a medical emergency. It requires an emergency room. That's a potentially life-threatening problem. Well, there you have it. Make sure you drink plenty of water because these hot temperatures are here to stick around. I know I have my drink ready. Reporting in West Monroe for your weather station, I'm Brian Medina. Switching here to the crime beat, another brawl being reported at Swanson.